What's up guys, this is Steve, hope you guys will enjoy this and I'm presenting Thor session number one review and this is really great that today just this this story came out this story re released and today I'm doing this review so you guys can take the decision whether we should buy this book or not anyway I have already bought this book and this is super cool so here we go with this review from comic book resources oh no hey here we go with the review that we the nerdy.com so this review is by Josh McCullough so one of the most interesting ideas in Secret Force was a Green Lantern Esqui. Thor Corps watching over the domains of Battleworld under God Doom. It's an idea brimming with possibilities for a series and so I was very excited to get my hands on this. This is the first Secret Wars tie-in I have read that feels truly connected to the main series with a great exploration of how the Thor Corps operate. There's been a murder and we get a front now seat to how the Thors deal with such an event. The end result is not what I was expecting at all in both good and bad ways. This first issue really caught me off guard. Going in, I was expecting a very fantastic reach tell, but the comic is actually very similar to a cop pro procedural drama. It's an, it's an angle I like as it manages to feel very different from other Marvel comics, particularly Thorsor stories that uh, while still managing to contain many references to locals and characters from today traditional Marvel books. This is the issue's biggest trend. Its world building is hugely interesting and its blending of familiar generations troops with outlandish Marvel backdrops leads to a very interesting world that I want to explore more of it. So while occasionally some of these references felt more like adverse for the other Secret Force times currently out, it does a good job of fleshing out battle world and making it feel like a real interconnected space. So a big downside however is that so is that thing is happening. A big downside however is that for the first half of the book the troops feels a little bit too familiar while the Marvel backdrop does lent oh what is this? Marvel that the lent a sense of uniqueness from a Marvel Comics perspective. The actual cop drama style feels very played out. A lot of the dialogue between thoughts feels a little cliched and their personalities feel a little flat. Things improve when Ultimate Thor and Beta Ray will become the focus. Their banter between each other feels like it has a lot more weight and respect than the other Thors, arguing jovially over things like who's taken down the most Hulk and so on. And it seems like it'll be an interesting partnership to explore throughout the series. The mystery too starts a bit too slow with not enough content context given and it's it's really tough so what does rem remain fantastic throughout however is the art of Chris Pauls every Thor has a guilty unique design bringing forth a lot of character to their looks even if they feel a bit shallow it's a very similar feeling to last year's Spider-Verse, seeing familiar characters blend dead together and slightly altered. Some of the thoughts are quite humorous additions and certainly got a few badges out of me. So while a lot of the dialogue fell flat, it was at least nice to see Amaron that Aaron's humor on display elsewhere. There are a lot of nice little details Sprout thrown into other characters in the world which manage to be subtle and cool without coming off as cringe worthy. It's it's a very beautiful book therefore and well worth a look simply for that and it just happened over there. So hope you guys have enjoyed this was Thor session number one and tell me under the comments below comment section what you think about this review and this story so have a great day don't forget to leave a like support the creatures this way you will support the creators have a great day adios